Welcome. This is the grade eight math test for T in ready. Question number three of the 1920 test, anyway. The system of linear equations shown is graphed on the coordinate plane. What is the approximate, uh, rounds about, solution for the system of linear equations? Now, the first thing that we need to talk about is what a system of linear equations is. We talk about linear equations, of course. We're talking about this old chestnut. See the equal sign there? That's what makes it an equation. Uh, basically lines. When we say the term solution, we mean legitimately what point do they both share? So the way that a linear equation works is I, so say I have y equals 2x plus 5, which I did in a different video. I input values for x to find out what the matching y is. And I think before I input a 1 there, 2 times 1 is 2 plus 5, y equals 7. So I make a point at 1, 7. Well, I can do that with any value of x that I want. So say I did 0. 2 times 0 is nothing, plus 5 is 5, so y is equal to 5. So I have another point on the same line at 0 and 5. And I can go all the way through and use f decimals and stuff and draw these lines. That's where this comes from. Now, if we have a system of equations, we're and looking for a solution to them, we're trying to find where they intersect, the, which means they share the point. So when I substitute in the value of x, I get the exact same value of y for two different equations. We don't even need to know, really, what the equations are. You could determine them if you want to, but I can't imagine you want to spend any time doing that, so I'm not going to do it either. What I'm going to do is look graphically to see where we would have the same point, which means we would have a dot there. So it's really da, 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 where they intersect. That's what we're looking for. Solution to a system just means what point do they both share. Visually, it means where do they intersect. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to pick this point right there. If I look for an xy form, I don't know if you'll ever need to write xy before you write your points, but sometimes in my head, because slope is change in y over change in x, I'll get sideways about it, so I just put this down to make it easier for myself. You may need that, you may not, but it's better to write it down and not need it than miss this question because you flip the numbers around. You'll feel like a goof because this is not a super difficult question, and you'll miss it because of carelessness. So if you need to take this extra step, don't let people in the chair next to you. And if you're in class right now, you might look at them and you know just tell them, don't judge me. I'm trying to do well in this thing. So you should do well in this thing. It's past 1, not quite to 2, so somewhere between 1 and 2 is where my x is. And since my choice is down here, say 1.3 is an option, that's what I'm going to go with. Is it at 1? Uh, no. Even though I can't draw a straight line anymore, um, it's not at 1. So probably anything with x of 1 is out. Now my y. Fortunately, they intersect pretty much exactly on the line down here. Between negative 2 and negative 4 would be negative 3, because we're going down. So 1.3 and negative 3. Another pre-prep, just like, actually, you don't even have to prep it. You can prep it, or you can just check. Make sure your positives and negatives are all good. You're in the positive part of x, so this better be positive. You're below the x-axis, so it better be negative. So 1.3 and negative 3. So my answer to number 3 is C. Seriously, this is not a difficult question. What is really easy to do, however, is to miss it because of some silliness where you just kind of flip through it really fast and then you pick something like B. That's not correct. Or you just kind of half-heartedly look at it and pick one that doesn't have a decimal. You could have looked at this visually and seen it's not on the line for X, so immediately you could have eliminated ones that had whole numbers. Although it does say approximate, so... Be careful. Just be careful when you do these, and you'll always get the right answer. And you'll earn points that will balance out some crazy question that may pop up later in any test, because that's how 10 Ready works.